perfect. No. Oh. Everybody loves a good whole hog cook. The best of the pork, juicy, tender, and I'm going to show you how you can do this at home. I selected this beautiful little piglet for you guys. It's around eight kilograms. It's small and it's tender and it has a lot of fat, which means it's gonna end up juicy. I wanna be giving you guys a recipe so you can cook a little piglet just like this at home. I'm gonna inject it, I'm going to rub it with a barbecue rub, and I'm gonna make it easy so you guys can do this at home. Let's get started. This is a beautiful little piglet. I'm taking it out of the package and I'm cleaning it up with a little bit of paper towel. Once it's all cleaned up, I'm going to trim off the legs and open it up. Now we're going to work on our injection fluid. It consists of apple juice, maple syrup, honey, ketchup mayonnaise, Worcestershire sauce, fine salt, onion powder, garlic powder. We're going to mix all of that up. First a quick stir with the knife and then shake it real good. Suck it all up in an injection needle and stick it into your pork. And try to get as much injection fluid into that little piglet as you can. Now let's work on our whole hog rub. I'm using sea salt, paprika powder, curry powder, onion powder and garlic powder. Rub that on to our little piggy and make sure you get everything on there. Our beautiful little piglet is done. She's ready for the smoker. But if you want to know all the details of this recipe, go to our website. Now let's fire up our Bernard smoker and put this little piglet on. Piglet is sitting butt side up so all that smoke flavor can go up and into the belly. She's running at a temperature of 135 degrees Celsius. Let's close the lid and let her smoke. Now we are just cooking a little piglet, but most of the time these things are done with giant hogs. And if you want to see a good example of that, just check out the YouTube channel of Malcolm Reed. It's called How to Barbecue Right. He does an amazing job at whole hog. And now we wait for our piglet to start cooking and pick up a little bit of smoke over. Our little piggy has been on the smoker for four and a half hours. The skin dried up, the meat tightened up, and all of that beautiful smoke crawled into that meat. Now we're going to take a closer look. Wow. <laughs> look at her. She's a beauty. The skin darkened up a little bit, but not to the point where we needed to apply foil. Even the ears are not burned, everything went perfect. This is a dream cook, but now comes the trick. We need to flip this thing around because this is for us, not the presentation side. The other side, that's our presentation side. And let me show you what it looks like. Our piglet currently is running at a temperature of 92 degrees Celsius, but we're going to let it cook to 98. So we flipped her around, capturing the juices in the skin. You might wonder about this technique. Why well, work on getting a beautiful skin and then flip it upside down and ruin it all? Well, let me tell you, this is a science in South Carolina. They smoke the pork until almost done, while the fat from the pork is dripping down into the coals beautiful twirls of smoke come up again and they cook the pork so they enhance the flavors and then in the end they flip it upside down and let the pork lay on the rack and then baste it heavily with barbecue mopping sauce and then the last few minutes of cooking they cook the whole thing tender and juicy it's gonna be excellent time to get some mopping sauce on We basted our little piglet with basting sauce and when it reached a temperature of 98 degrees Celsius, we took it off the barbecue and let it rest. And now it's time to pull.
The miniature whole hog version at its finest. Look at it. It's a spread. It's a feast. And we pulled everything right here in the skin. So basically this is like one big giant tray of meat and all of the juices stayed in there. And that's a trick that I meant. You just gotta flip it around and let the skin be the boil of all the juices and all of the goodness that's in there. But it's pulled, so we might as well do a taste test. This looks barbaric. It, it looks scary. I'm just gonna taste it. Mm. Okay, I take it back. It's not barbaric. It's awesome. Mm. 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 Juicy. Tender. Oh man, those are the two first things that come up. I'm so hungry. Look at how juicy that is. Oh man, it's packed full with flavor. Mm. It's like a tr like a train coming in. It, it's it's full of the best parts of pork, like a flavor train. Amazing. Mm. Choo choo. What was in that basting sauce again? It's not so a one liner. Good. It's what I'm experiencing. I'm just sharing. It's awesome. First you get. And that's the cool thing. You still get that piglet flavor. Oh. The richiness, you get the creaminess, but then you get, you get the injection a little bit, the flavors, a little bit of the apple juices that are in there. And like, don't touch my meat. Getting too close, personal space. <laughs> the crust. You have to go for the, for the brown parts. Eating it is like a feast. You, you have it laying like this and all the food's in there and everybody gets to dig in and pick the pieces and get the best part and everyone's fighting over those little bits. Can I take a little bit home? Oh, you know, yeah. you know that fat uncle, he's gonna be like, <clears throat> get me a piece. Screaming kids, crying because he got knocked away from the fat uncle by the fat uncle. Mm -hmm. Look at it, man. It's just, it looks tasty, it tastes tasty. I could eat this on my own. But you could easily feed a whole family with it. Morsen, where, why, where's all the good stuff? You're gonna be happy. You're gonna be happy. You and your eight children are going to be really, really happy. You stole it. See? Morsen's my fat uncle. He steals all the best parts. Morsen, we'll next time we're cutting it in half. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Perfect. No. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, then leave us a big thumbs up and a comment down below. See you guys next time. Big thanks to our patrons and our YouTube members. It's Maglik and... Keep on grilling. That's right. <laughs> Mixed it up this time. <laughs> you didn't see that coming. Oh yeah. And, and no more crust for you this time, Morrison. Ah, that's good then. The crust is... The best part. You can eat meat eating in the car. The crust is the best part. It is, right? Mm. How do you like the sweetness? I love it. And I don't like sweetness. Mm -hmm. But is it possible it to is. get even more crust? I want to taste I want that everything tastes like this. We could have taken the ribs off, but there's just very little holding it together. Mm. So that's really hard. But, you know, if, if you have a whole hog, there's so much goodness. Mm.